At the time the Second Amendment was drafted, this gun here was the state-of-the-art technology. Nowadays, we're stuck with the Second Amendment as it was written 230 years ago, 220 years ago, and we have the AR-15s. And this is what is causing the great debate that we're having in society right now. Uh, hunting is a huge pastime for many, many Americans, and to put a complete ban on, on weapons would halt the, the entire hunting industry and, and hurt businesses and put people out of business. And I just don't think it's, it's plausible. Another reason is for self-defense, to defend yourself from the criminal element that is in society that might come to try and take what you have or to hurt you or those who love you. Personally, I prefer to be able to defend myself from the criminal elements of society rather than being victimized. On December 14th, 2012, in Newtown, Connecticut, at Sandy Hook Elementary School, Adam Peter Lanza, age 20, shot and killed 27 people, including 20 children, along with injuring two more before killing himself. He used a Bushmaster assault rifle and two handguns, and had access to three more rifles and a shotgun. All of the guns were legally owned by his mother. The shooting was the second deadliest school shooting in United States history. It is clear that there is a problem with the current laws in Connecticut, but what should be done to fix it? Boy, I hope we can come up with legislation that really effectively addresses mental health and guns. I don't think the current legislation I've seen does that. I think it attempts to do that. The whole issue of, you know, preventing the crime with firearms, it really is much more of an issue of mental health and the assessment of mental health of individuals. That's, it's much more complicated than just saying you can't have it. Connecticut is known for having some of the most stringent gun laws in the United States, including a minimum age for purchase, 18 for long guns and rifles, 21 for handguns, a clean criminal record verified by a background check, required safety courses, and a 14-day waiting period following the submission of an application. Um, they passed a law for limiting the capacity of a magazine that you can carry or you can possess. You cannot own a magazine or carry a magazine which holds more than seven bullets. I just ejected one, and I just put a new one in. That took me less than half a second. So I don't, that's feel-good legislation and makes politicians look good. It's not going to accomplish very much. Few people argue that guns should be completely removed from society. But there's also the third reason why that the Second Amendment exists, and that's to keep our own government in check. It was to guard against a tyranny was to guard against a government taking over and usurping the liberties of the people. And they knew, because they lived through it with the American Revolution, that if you want to avoid a evil prince or a tyrant, you are best if you arm your people. But if you look um, through history, um, the major tyrants who exerted control over their population, if you look at um, Soviet Russia, if you look at Nazi Germany, if you look in Communist China, one of the first things that they do in order to control their population is to remove the firearms from the citizens. Just the thought of knowing that your population is armed is enough to keep um, anyone who might have tendencies to become a dictator or to totalitarianist at bay. Some possible revisions include limiting magazine count, requiring background checks, and examining the type and number of firearms any one person should be able to own. I think background checks are key isn't necessarily the gun owner that uh, commits the crime. It could be somebody in their family, or somebody they know, or somebody that has access to their guns in some way. So um, background checks are key. Reasonable restrictions placed on gun ownership and gun purchases. Um, probably stronger back background checks. I agree that some form of background checking is appropriate if you look to purchase a gun. If you have a history of committing felonies or violent crimes, then I don't think it's appropriate for you to be allowed to own a firearm. If you do not have a permit saying that you can legally own guns, I don't think you should be able to purchase ammunition. If you want to purchase ammunition, you should have to prove that you can safely and legally own that gun.